What's up, everyone? We got an update for you on Veterans Park, the new proposed park down off Veterans Parkway. Uh, but uh, excuse my voice here as I am sick and I'm struggling with this one, but videos must go on. But thankfully, the city did an update on this, actually, and they are kind enough to let me use their video. So here is an update from the city of Murfreesboro. Thank you to them. On um, the new proposed park, a veteran, it's at the corner of Blackman Road and Veterans Parkway right off uh, 840. So um, as always, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll get, my, I'll get back to those as soon as I can. And now here's your update. Murfreesboro Parks and Recreation's newest proposed park is Veterans Park. It is proposed to be located at the corner of Blackman Road and Veterans Parkway near Interstate 840. The park's director explained to the city council where they were in the process at the November 9th city council workshop meeting. After several months of really hard work, we're excited to update you on where we stand with the design for uh, Veterans Park. Uh, we feel like the current layout that we have really is the best use for the property and really would be a nice asset to the park system. Uh, today we're simply seeking your direction and how you like to see this project move forward. The engineering company, Gresham Smith, also attended to explain the design of this proposed park. We are super excited about this park and the opportunity that it presents for your city and your constituents. Um, over the last few months we've been working directly with city staff and trying to identify program elements and a park direction and the look and the feel um, for the aesthetics within the park. So we're looking at obviously a centralized uh, vehicular access that leads you into what we're considering kind of the heart or the core of the park and located right there we'll have um, active sports opportunity, a destination playground, you see some multi-purpose fields adjacent. Uh, one component of the park that I want to point out is that we do have various locations for pavilions kind of scattered throughout in different settings. There's also varying levels of a trail system throughout. There's paved trails. Uh, when we were sure to accommodate a 2.5k loop so that you know if you wanted to have a 5k event out there that's that's baked in pretty easily. Three other options were proposed that wouldn't design the entire park to give the city council more choices. A big driver in all public projects is budget. right? So we wanted to look at a few different ways of how you could take this plan carve it, dissect it, break it up into, place, into chunks that make sense for implementation, uh, depending on what your target budget ends up being. So option one would be to pull some of those more remote features off, save a little bit of money, maybe you're in the 5% range to cut costs on that. Option two, we start to really dial back and maybe we focus just on the heavy intense use of the property. We feel like this gets you more into the 15 to 20% savings. Um, and then the final option would be, can we focus on just the core or the heart of the park that we were talking about earlier? So, and maybe this gets you down to the 30-ish percentage range. City Council had questions and ultimately decided to move forward with designing the entire park. Bottom line is that's going to be a gateway to our community on that side of town. And you got the hospital industry out there and you're going to have people visiting that park and we need to make sure we take advantage of it because I think what we learned from the past is we, we, built, we built something smaller and then we come back and had to add on and the cost was tripled or doubled about that time. So, Gresham Smith explained the next several steps in the process. The very next step for us is we, we need to provide the city a full design proposal for that work. We would then approach the project doing a detailed design for the park with some phasing options with a, a much more detailed cost estimate. Once we have a cost in hand, we have a phasing plan in action, we need to produce construction documents, get that permitted, um, and then take that to bid, um, select a contractor, award the project, and, um, and then do construction. So we've got a lot of steps before we make this uh, a full complete project. We'll make sure to keep you updated in the process as uh, new cost estimates are come through. Um, we'll move forward and try to get something uh, in motion as soon as we can.